So tourism is something uh, very important in a country because uh, it's the uh, uh, consummation. I, I don't know if you you, you try to understand me. Uh, I'm making my best to, uh, to let myself understood uh, because I'm in the French uh, speaking countries. We should allow our youth to be involved in uh, everything that can bring about creativity. For instance, look at what we have there. That's the kind of thing that we're talking about. Look at those designs. My fellow people that attended this event, I want to say thank you and may God bless you all. We should send out there. It was a thing to us that we should allow our youth to get involved in some of these things. And government should come up with policies that will create that enabling environment. Why is it that all over the world, the youth there, especially in the so-called America, Europe, the youth there, they are enjoying the country. That is why they don't want to leave their countries. It's hard for you to find any European around here. Why? Because the government has really invested so much. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. May I quickly recognize my ego? I'm a youth on the island France, from the local government from the, West. Um, I'm here with my Nigeria, with my friends, my colleagues. So we pray this reach out soon. And his name is Sam, Samuel Toby. The authority of this program. And I was here yesterday to show what I can do. The first was actually nice and cool because I've been doing this for a long time. The African Youth Tourism Festival. I saw the picture of Toby somewhere. I really liked it. It's good enough. And it's like Africans are trying the best to showcase their talent, their potential, to see the best of the people that will come here. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Jamila Williams. I'm the SSA on tourism to the chairman of Lagos Island Local Government. I'm here for the African Youth Festival Tourism and it's actually nice. I'm loving the whole program. 
and I hope you will also be here again to also join in the program. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, Comrade Adeyemi Yusuf. Uh, I'm right here enjoying myself at uh, the African Youth Tourism Festival. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. Okay. This is traditional wear, anyway. Traditional wear. Right? That's okay. Right now, I show you beyond all of that. Because you can actually wear it as a bag wear. You can go anything, basically, you can show Because not you can, you can go out. You know, on the one day, you can go out and you see the family people, you look like very good. Good morning, everyone. My name is Oluwa Tobiloba I am the creative director of T Love Africa. And we are here today um, at um, African Youth Tourism Festival 2024 Shades and Design. We have Etu, we have Alari. We have Sonia, so try to be here tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to die one day. Uh -huh. I want to I'm going to die money. Hi, what's up, everybody? TV right here. We are at TBS. You can see me. I'm happy in nice cap. What's it? African Youth Stories Festival right here at TBS, Lagos, Nigeria. This event started on Tuesday, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nigeria, I love tourism. What about you? Thank you for the organizer that put this together. I want to say, next year, let it be bigger and greater than this. Thank you, everybody. Have a nice day. To make sure that we are here and they will continue to do more. So that's a kind of environment that we are looking at. We are government get involved in the activities of the youth, supporting any great initiative. So it was explained to us that we should allow all this to happen, and that is what we call sustainable tourism. Then he informed us that for us as Africans, we must consume what we produce when we consume what we produce, it will help our economy. And you know, the art, tourism, uh, and culture sector, this is where you have much of this creativity. So, those are the things that he explained to us. And it is important for our youth to understand this. And on the side of the government and stakeholders to be involved very, very importantly for them to understand that Africa as a country, as a, as a continent, we need to move forward and um, help to support whatever we have. So on this note, I would want to know if the other uh, guest is on so that we can bring her up. So in the meantime, let's have some music. Thank you very much. Who actually came to attend this event all the way from London? So he deserves a, a, a round of applause. Then, those who have been with us since we started this journey this is Tuesday, I recognize every one of you. Thank you all. You see, life is an adventure in opportunities. Then I also recognize Mr. Stephen Atten. Someone who came all the way from Calabar. He was just to attend this event. Calabar from here is about almost uh, 11 hours. But there's a story that I would like to share, you know, just to mentor the younger ones who want to venture into tourism, art, culture, or satanity, you know. And, uh, aspect of uh, comedy entertainment, that life begins with a step. There is this popular Chinese program that a thousand miles, they have to start with a step. So, just like my good friend, 
that somebody has so much respect, Carlo Africa, Kasim Balogun, that this uh, will I love you, sir. I dream to assure, to achieve a lot in life. Just like the late sage, M.K. Adola said, those who cannot dream cannot see vision. If you're a dreamer, if you want to dream, begin to dream now. Whatever you want to do, begin to dream now. How do you see your future? The picture that, the future that you cannot picture, you cannot see it. Just like a Bishop David Benedict said. So, as I was coming, just to uh, wrap up in a few minutes, by aligning with our friend that came over from Canada. About 18 years ago, I was coming from Canada, you know, as a youth club uh, member. So, what I did in Canada.